Sick guys, this is TG Fighting Alice, and I'm back with you with another video. Now today, <clears throat> everybody, I just want to talk about uh, yeah, Canelo Alvarez and Edgar Berlanga. Um, yeah, so basically the press conference just wrapped up about nearly a half an hour ago, probably a bit more. Um, yeah, the whole thing was uh, a clown show. Um, yeah, I was I was looking at the press conference and uh, I was seeing the live chats and uh, everybody's trolling in the uh, chat. Uh, they're slamming on Canelo Alvarez saying he's ducking and uh, he's ducking this, ducking that and saying his trainer at a Reynoso and saying that he's just not the trainer that they think he is. And to be truly honest with you, everybody, like Canelo, you know, Right now, I I believe he's ruined his reputation. Um, he's he's utterly destroying it. Um, it's unbelievable. He's he he he's ducked David Benavides. He has uh, clear as day ducked him. Um, and the David the David Benavides had no choice but to move up to one seven five because I to be honest with you, I think he's probably struggling to make one six eight. So he had no choice but to move up to one seven five. Um. So is there Canelo right now with another goddamn cherry pick as of Edgar Berlanga? Um, yeah, a lot of people are, he is heavily slept on in this fight. Heavily, 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 heavily slept on. Like, literally, there's nobody going for this guy. They, I think the odds is going to be so one-sided, it's incredible. Um, and, bro, if Edgar Berlanga somehow pulled this off... It would just shock the world, bro. It would be probably one of not the one of the biggest upsets in boxing history if this because I honestly do not think Edgar Berlanga has a chance in this fight. I really don't see it. He might. He might. Okay. He might have some type of power. Maybe. Bro, his last his last fight was some Irish guy, but like, bro, before him, he hasn't got a stoppage in like seven fights. Bro, that was his, his last win was a stoppage, but that fuck me, bro. I honestly don't see Edgar winning this fight. I don't know, bro. Like, see, I'm he's he's very very overlooked in this fight, but I don't see any way he can beat him. You know what I mean? But another not everybody, you know. Uh, there's other, you know, there's other fights in this card. You know, there's the likes of uh, Alhendi Lara. Danny Garcia is another good one, you know, some good on the undercard with that as well, I actually haven't looked at the rest of the card, I've only seen half of the press conference, so I actually need to look who's on this card, um, but yeah, um, this fight though, bros, um, he's, Canelo's ruined his reputation in this, and I've seen the views in the press conference on YouTube, bro, the, the max I've seen it hit was 7k views, 7k views this is a pay-per-view event bro paper this fight is not pay-per-view worthy bro this fight is not pay-per-view worthy this should be on free tv this is shocking okay nobody knows who the fuck edgar berlanga is i do but most of the world do not know who the hell edgar berlanga is Everybody knows who Chris Eubank Jr. is and Chris ba Eubank Sr. And he was actually going to make that fight. Even I, I actually rather a fight than this. This fight is even. It's just this fight is just bad as it is, and it's it's crazy. I want to slam on the zone for 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 trying to hype this fight up. They were glazing the hell out of um Edgar Berlanga to just just to make this fight happen. And it it's shocking to see, um, you know, on Edgar for for what I see, Edgar doesn't seem like a bad human being. He seems like a nice, good human being. The press conference, you know, and he's you know he's happy that he had you know got the opportunity for this fight, and he's happy that he got the shot for Canelo. But I just don't think Edgar Berlanga has earned the spot for Canelo Alvarez, like, he has fought nobody to earn the spot for Canelo, bro, he has fought absolutely nobody's fight, tin cans, bins, whatever you want to call them, could
Uber drivers, cab drivers, blah, 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 okay, but, yeah, um, Canelo Alvarez, bro, this is just shocking, shocking, shocking from Canelo, he had better options than this, he had, you know, he could have fight Dimitri Bivol again, you know, rematch on that, David Benavides, maybe even potential, like, different, just different fights in 168, bro, there is a variety of different fights at 168, and I do not understand why the hell he picked Edgar Berlanga out of all the fights that he could have picked. Like, this is, it's crazy. And the IBF stripped him because he didn't stick with his mandatories. That just goes clear as day. He literally ducked David Benavides and a variety of all the people because he didn't stick with his mandatories. And look what happened. So, yeah, Canelo Alvarez, bro, I don't know. He's, he's ruined his reputation. It's crazy, and he is. He used to be the face of boxing. He used to be the most. He's probably he is still is. It's just people are just looking like thinking, "Oh, I'm not gonna watch this fight because I don't even know who Edgar Berlanga is." You know what I mean? Everybody knew who Triple G was. Everybody knew who. Well, Callum Plant, not really, but you know, you're starting to be a big star, and people try to hype up Callum Plant. Um. People knew who Billy Joe Saunders was. He was a big British fighter, um, the Gypsy King's friend, uh, Tyson Fury's friend. Um, who else? I'm trying to look for big names. Yeah, Triple G, I did mention. Uh, Daniel Jacobs, another one. Others, oh, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. is another one. You know what I mean? I'm trying to list all the fighters, you know, popular fighters that Canelo has fought that literally just made him the face of boxing. Right now, I honestly think Tank Davis, Javante Tank Davis, not the whole world, not the whole world, Europe hardly knows Davis, literally not even a lot of Europe knows who Tank Davis is, Um, I would say global knows who Canelo is, you know, but I'd say at some point if, you know, if Tank keeps knocking out people, knocking out big names too, I believe that Tank Davis on the spot is global, uh, when it comes to global recognition, um, no doubt about it. But yeah, Canelo, you know, calling him the self the face of boxing and fighting this and that, bro. It it's it's a bad look to boxing. It's a bad look to his reputation. It's a bad look for his resume and his legacy as well. It's 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 bad, bro. It's not good, in my honest opinion. Me, personally, I'm not a fan of Canelo Alvarez, but if you're a fan of Canelo Alvarez out there, deep down, everybody, you know that can, this is not a good fight for Canelo, and Canelo shouldn't have took this fight, because Canelo should easily win this fight, but Edgar Berlanga, you just never know, but I have Canelo Alvarez winning this. All right, guys, peace.